Good morning, everybody. Good morning. So, hi there. Hi. Behind us, the masked man. Hi, Sherry. Good morning. So we're going to start off on our toes. Grab yourself some light weights. We'll be doing um, some lunges and some plies and lots of arms, okay? So if you haven't been here before, my name is Sherry. I'm a Pilates instructor in Santa Monica. And um, I try to make this a kind of athletic variation of a mat Pilates class. So um, <clears throat> do what you can. Don't push yourself to the brink of hurting yourself. But there might be some things that you might want to try that you haven't before. All right, let's get started. Everybody grab your light weights. Mine are two pound weights. You can have anything as high as four. I wouldn't go any higher than four because we're going to be doing a lot of long lead for things. And that can just hurt you. Okay, all right. So we have ordered warm up reverse lunges. So if you have your hands on your hips, I want you just to reverse lunge. So in your reverse lunge, you're planting your back foot and you're bending into your front foot. So the weight of your body is on the front heel, okay? So keep squeezing and corseting your waistline. Beautiful, guys. Nice. Six hey, here. I hear something. Perfect. Five. Do you want to have your tailbone tucked under and your chest? Sherry, can you mute everybody, please? Beautiful. Last one each side. Perfect. Beautiful. Sherry, right can you mute foot everybody? Foot your left foot forward. Take your arms Sherry. to your chest. Good. From here, I want you to really <laughs> push that tailbone under. Good. And lift your chest. Great. From so here, I want you just to sink down and up. So you're just sinking down. If you have the flexibility, you can tap your right knee all the way to the ground. Good. So remember, we're rooting that front heel. We're light on our right tippy toes. Two more. Beautiful. Last one. From here, I want you to add to this. So when you extend your legs, you're going to lean over your left leg. So down and lean. Let's add some arms. Bicep curl, lean, tricep mm -hmm. extension. Great. Lean it up. We're going to add to this. Keep drawing your abdominals in, keeping your core contracted. Last one. Add a tippy toe lift on that left leg when you lean over. Good. And take your time with this. Although I'm sure I'm wrong. Good. Squeezing those inner thighs in. Really trying to push in through your big toe. Your big toe is taking the force. Force is an awful word. Hard to uh, articulate. It's taking the pressure in a good way. Jerry. Three the okay, last one. I own five. Nice. We're going to stay on your tippy toes. You're going back into those um, lunges. Elbows at your shoulder. Good. We're going to press your arms up as you sink down. Good. Press up, sink down. Left heel lifted, right heel lifted. Let's do 10. Squeeze those abs. Nine. Eight more. Seven. Lift your left heel higher. Just be comfortable. Good. Five. I think I was referring Pressing to Pressing through the inside of your foot. Two. Last one. Keep it low. Good. Elbows, shoulder height. Extend your arms and bend. Extend and bend. See if you can plug your shoulders back a little bit more. Good. Knit those ribs together. Good. Even out your hip bones. Four. Tuck your tailbone under. Three. Great. Two. Last one, keep your arms extended. Good, reach your arms over your head. Great, ribs in, tap your left heel down and up. Down and up, good for seven. Nice, six, 
five, perfect, four, three, two, last one, left heel down, I want you to put your weight on your left heel and lift into this uh, drinking bird, good, from here I want you just to hold the shape, see if you can reach your arms further, see if you can reach your right heel further, good, hold for six, hold for five, four, three, two, last one, step your feet together, arms by your side, nice, it's a fun routine, okay, so now your right foot is forward, high, and your left foot is back, looks like you're having problems, Helena, okay, so tuck your tailbone under, hips even, good, right heel is on the ground for now, great, arms right here, good, down and up, wait, actually, we're doing bicep curls, Perfect. We're gonna add that lean. Good. So this lean is really priming your body for all that balance. So you're gonna feel slightly unstable. You're gonna feel your body shift its weight to that front foot, but keep um, still in your core, right? You have to add extra energy into your core to keep from falling over. Three more, rolling that right foot in. Good. Two. Perfect. Last one. Beautiful. We're gonna add that knee, that heel lift. Good. And oh, good. Take your time with this. It's not easy. It's mental, it's physical. There's a little emotion involved, right? Whenever we're dealing with balance, sometimes we get hard on ourselves and we think we're the only one who looks like a drunken baby elephant. But trust me, we all feel that way. Good, whoop, see, whoop. I'm gonna take my time. Last one. Perfect, keep your right heel lifted. Let's go into that tippy lunge. So you're. Uh, tailbone is scooped under, your hips are even, good, sink a little deeper, elbows here. We're going to change our arms a little bit. You go down, connect your elbows, and up, open. Good. So you can go to full extension or stay low. I'm going to stay a little bit. Good. For six. Perfect. Five, ribs in. Beautiful. Four. Nice, three more. Try to connect your elbows all the way together. Two, ribs engaged. Last one, pausing here. Lift your right heel higher. Good, we're gonna lift your arms up an inch, down an inch. Up an inch, down an inch for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Keep your elbows together, keep your hands together. Tap your right heel down and up. Down and up for seven, for six, five, four, three, elbows together, two, last one, heel down, arms reach. And let's take that flying pose. So press firmly into your right leg and lift up. Good, let's hold this for 15. Rolling into your inner arch. Good, 10. Reach further, nine, eight, seven, hang in there, six. Great, squeeze those biceps around your cheekbones. Two, last one, arms down, feet together. Nice work. We're gonna go into this wide plie to work on some arms. Um, the plie is not necessary. If you wanna just stand like this and do your arms, that's fine, okay? If you want to take it up to the next level, you're in a deep plie. If you want to take it up to an even harder level, you're on your tippy toes, okay? So let's serve our platter. You have your elbows bent at your rib cage and reach your arms forward and then draw in. Imagine you have a tray of marbles. So it's slow out, slow in. You also have a really mean boss that said if you drop even one marble, you're fired. So stakes are high. Good, let's do six more. Keep those chest muscles 
open. Keep those shoulder muscles drawing down and back. Good. Two more. Perfect. Last one, keep your arms extended long. Good. From here, little bend, big straight. So it's a little bend, big straight. Your heels are lifted, your knees are pressed wide. Let's do seven, six, same mindfulness not to drop even one marble, five. Good, four, three. If you're in a plie, sink deeper, challenge your body. Two, last one, pausing here, connect the uh, weights, and then make a little circle and connect the weights at the top. So it's like you're making two parentheses. You're tracing a circle with your left hand and your right hand. Good, for six, good, five, nice, four more. Good, three, trying to stay on those tiptoes. Two, last one, palms face down. We're gonna um, pump your arms, one goes up, one goes down. Sink a little deeper, let's do 10, nine, eight, chest lifted, shoulders drawn down, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and relax. Arms down, heels down. Perfect. Feet together. We're going to lean forward. Feel free to keep your feet planted or rock up to your tippy toes for more of a challenge. Good. Extend your arms behind you. Great. You're going to pump your right arm up to the ceiling and then your left. Right, left. Keep your chest still. Keep your shoulders from rolling forward. Good. Zip up from your pubic bone. Good, to your sternum. Great, let's do seven. Good, six. If you're in a uh, squat, sink a little deeper. Five. Good, four. Perfect, three. Nice, two. Last one. Great, arms. Um, extended below your shoulder blades. We're gonna pinch your elbows back two times. One, two, and then extend for a tricep extension. So it's one, two, extend. One, two, extend. Good. Good. One, two, extend. One, two, extend. One, two, extend. Good, six more. Really try to squeeze your back muscles. Good. Five more. Four. Get those back muscles. Three. With intention. Two. Good. Last one. Keep your arms extended. Circles. Good. Sink deeper if you're in a um, uh, squat squat. Good. Six. Five. Four, three, two, one, reverse. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one, pausing here. You're gonna bend your elbows, straighten, bend, straighten for 10, nine, eight, seven, good, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Beautiful. Nice. Let's stand like this. We're going to take your palms facing forward. We're going to sink into a plie with your heels on the ground. And then you're going to rise your arms up over your head. So it's a plie sink and a reach up. Perfect. Let's do 10. Great. If you want to go to your tippy toes, feel free. Especially when you're up tall, that's a really great way to challenge your balance. Good. Three more. Nice. Two. Beautiful. Last one. Let's stay low in that plie again. Reach your arms nice and wide. Great. And circle. Your palms are facing forward. Good. Your pinkies are facing down. Remember, you don't have to be in a plie if you don't want to be. Great. For six, five, four. That overtaxes your nervous system. Take your weights away. Good. Reverse your circles. Good. For seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one. Good. Now imagine you're holding two bottles of wine. Pour out the wine. Pour out the wine. Great. For eight, 
seven, good, six, five, awesome guys, four, three, two, last one, wine poured out, pinky to the ceiling, lift for 10, nine, eight, seven, good job, six, five, four, three, two, and relax. Woo, we built up quite a sweat. Okay, let's go onto the ground for some abs and core. <sighs> and feel free to keep your hand weights with you. That's a nice addition to the um, crunches, as long as they're light and your neck doesn't hurt. Good, let's take your legs to the ceiling. I really want you to tense your quadricep. That's the front muscle right here. That'll give you that extra length. So keep tensing that muscle. Open your legs nice and wide so you're in a V shape. Arms overhead. We're gonna lift up and frame your right leg. Good, lift up and then frame your left leg. Good. And your legs have a soft point to them. Good, and they're as straight as you can get them. Good. If you need to bend your knees because this hurts your back or anything else, go ahead and bend your knees. Good, four more. Nice. Three more. Squeeze and course with that waistline. Good, peeling up using your uh, ab muscles. Last one each side. Good. Let's take your arms in between your thighs. Little pulses here, up an inch up an inch, up an inch. Straighten your legs a little bit more for seven, for six, five, four, shoulders down, three, two, last one, stay lifted. Take your legs down, good, and then back up. Good, down. If you wanna use your hands behind your head, that's totally fine. Slicing those inner thighs, squeeze those heels together for six, good, five, Perfect, four more. Beautiful, three. Legs extended, two. Beautiful, last one. Extend your legs long, arms by your side, 100 position. If you need to take your knees into tabletop, that's fine. If you need to take the weights out of your hands, totally fine as well. Squeeze those inner thighs, squeeze your low belly to the ground. Inhale for five, exhale for five. Good. Let's do five more. Inhale and exhale. Pump a little harder. Inhale, exhale. Inhale and exhale. Squeeze those inner thighs together. Two more. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. And relax. Nice work, everybody. Whew. So let's go back into a tabletop with your legs. Let's go back into a crunch, great from here. I want you to stay lifted with your arms by your side and extend your left leg and then extend your right and then bend your right, bend your left, extend your right and then extend your left, okay? So we're really going for that straight leg. So remember what I told you, tensing your quadricep, that'll get you that straight long leg. If you wanna put your hands behind your head, that works as well. Ooh, or if you want to get rid of the weight, that works as well too. Two more. Good. Try to straighten your leg. Nice. Last one, each side. Perfect. Good. Ditch the weights, hands behind your head. Scissor, cross over. Cross, cross. This is the last in the series for six. Five more. Nice, four, three, two straight legs. Use those quads, last one, and done, perfect. Hips to the ceiling, stretch open your hip flexors and your abs. Hopefully you feel it right in the middle of your belly. And maybe your low belly, but hopefully not your hips. If you feel it in your hips, then you're using too much hip flexors and you need to Tune into your low belly. Lecture is over. Okay, <clears throat> let's do bridges. You can use an elevated surface for the bridges if you wanna make it more challenging. I'm just gonna do my bridges on the ground. <clears throat> okay, 
I'm gonna keep my weights in my hands and I'm gonna reach my arms up to the ceiling. Good. What happens is that your shoulders follow your hands, so plug those shoulders back. Good. Squeeze your knees together and hop up into your tippy toes. Good, from here, let's tuck your tailbone under and peel into a bridge. And then roll yourself down. <clears throat> Good, peeling up and rolling down. So for these ones, I have my knees squeezing in. So if you wanna put a pillow or a ball in between your knees, that would help you to guide those knees inward. <clears throat> Good. Two more. <sighs> nice. Last one, stay lifted. Good, keeping your knees together, extend your right leg. Good, from here, lift your hips up an inch, down an inch, up an inch, down an inch. For six, straight leg tensing the quad. Five, four, beautiful, three, two, last one, switch legs. Good, lift, lower, lift, lower. For eight, seven, Six, nice, five, four, three, two, last one, both feet down, roll yourself down, good. You're gonna take your feet together now, so we're in this butterfly pose. <clears throat> this could also be done with your feet up on the um, elevated surface. Great, arms back to the ceiling, or arms by your side, okay? So we're gonna do a, a butterfly bridge. So your feet stay pressed together, lift your hips. So you're really squeezing the outer edge of your hips and then lower down. So instead of a rounded spine, let's just um, lift your spine and your hips together. So it's just sort of a press up to the ceiling. But be my guest if you find more activation at your glutes with the undulation, okay? So let's do 10 more. When recruiting those glutes, maybe you put your hands right on your bottom so you can feel it activating. Nice, or maybe you put your hands or maybe the weights at your pelvic bones to create more oppositional force to press into, right? Sometimes with these body weight activities, we need to create oppositional force to make our muscles work. Four more, good, three, two more. This last one, squeeze up and pause. Good. We're going to flap our little butterfly wing. So you're going to press your knees wider, wider, wider. Good. Press wide, wide, wide. Good. For seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold it here. Press your knees nice and wide. Lift your hips up an inch, down an inch, up an inch, down an inch. For eight, seven, six. Squeeze your glutes, five, four more, good, three, two, last one, stay lifted, press your knees down, down, down for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one, good. Roll yourself all the way down, great. Keep your feet in this butterfly pose, hands behind your head. We're gonna crunch your right elbow to your left knee or right elbow to right knee, and then switch, and switch, and switch. Great, so we're crunching your obliques. We're also lifting your shoulders and your hips off the ground, so it's a double crunch. Four, three more. Nice, two. Perfect, last one each side. Great, now we're just gonna hold. We're gonna touch your elbows to your knees and just hold the shape. Keep your feet together, keep your knees touched in. See if you can squeeze your elbow a little deeper into your knees. Hold this for seven, for six, breathe through it, five, four, three, two, last one. Perfect, nice. We're gonna roll over for some planks and uh, we're gonna start off on our hands and knees. So, starting off on your hands and knees, I want you to uh, take your hands to that 30 degree jazz hand pose and then screw in your shoulder blades. So, your uh, bicep 
faces forward, not in like a bulldog. You want to be lifted out of your um, whole back, okay? So let's just tuck your toes under and we're going to hover your knees an inch off of the ground. Good. Squeeze those abs. Good. From here in this hovered position, we're going to tap your knees down and lift up. Down and lift up. Squeeze your abdominal muscles, squeeze your core. Make sure you didn't start to round in your chest for seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Good. You can drop your knees if you want to for this next series. We're gonna do donkey kicks, okay? So it can be really challenging in that hover. So if you want that added challenge, go right ahead and hover your knees and then lift your left leg. Good. Kicking your left foot to the ceiling for seven. Good. Six. Five more. Squeeze your glute. Four. Good. Pull your core in. Three. Slow and steady. Two. Good. Last one. Good. Ten little lifts up here. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Woo! Great. So let's switch. Option to hover those knees, okay? Great. Kick, 10, nine, great, eight, seven, use your glute, six, five, perfect, four, spiral those biceps forward, three, dig your arms into the ground, two, Good, this last one, hold it up for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Beautiful, nice. We're gonna go into a forearm plank. So step your legs back. Good, if you'd like to do your um, forearm plank with your elbows up on a chair, that'll make it easier. Great, now we're gonna tap your knees, left knee, Lift, right knee, lift. Left, lift, right, lift. Pull your elbows to your toes. Five, good, four, three, good, two, last one. Top both toes, down, lengthen, down, lengthen. For six, five, lengthen all the way, four, Three, two, last one. Good, side to side. You can be on your knees, totally fine. Keep your elbows planted. Four more. Three more. Two. Last one. Let's, sit. Let's stay on your right side for a side plank. So we're in an elbow side plank. If you want to drop to your knees, that's totally fine. Let's tap your hip down, lift, and lift your top leg. So hip down, leg lift. For six, five, good, four more. Find the lift in your side waist, not your shoulder. Your shoulder is just stabilizing too. Last one. Hold it here for seven, for six, five. Open your chest, four, three, two, and relax. Flip over to the other side. Great. And we're going to tap down, lift up. Down, lift up. Good. This can be done on your knee, good. Whew. For four, beautiful. Three, nice. Two more. <clears throat> Last one, and hold it. For eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and relax. Beautiful. Nice work, everybody. Woo. Okay. Well, we just got a taste of the sidekicks. Let's do some more sidekicks. So knees, 
scent. Uh, if you have a band, you want to put a band around your thighs, that'll really cook your thighs. Good. Lying down like this with your rib cage lifted or lift it up like this with your rib cage lifted. You just want your spine to be straight and neutral, whatever you choose. Great, we're gonna open your leg as wide as you can get it. Good, and then close back down. Open, close. So we're squeezing that outer thigh. Squeeze. Your ribs are knitted inward. Your whole trunk is still. Great, for six. Great. Five, perfect, four, squeeze those hips, three, nice, two, last one, good, we're gonna draw a big circle, good, for 10, nine, abs and tight, eight, seven, if you put your hand on your hip bone, it's absolutely still, four, and stacked on top of the uh, bottom hip, two, last one, good, reverse, Nice for eight, seven, squeeze six, five, good job guys, four, three, two, last one, pausing right here. Make sure your hips are stacked, hips stay still. Kick forward and bend back, kick and bend. Again, finding that lengthening from the quadricep tightening. Good, and then to bring your heel back, squeeze your hamstring for six, Good, and then stability wise, we're using the same muscles we were just using to um, lift and um, circle your leg. So they're pretty tired and a little cranky. Three more, two, last one. Pausing here, your leg extended, lift up and down. As high as you can get it without moving your hips for seven, six, five, great, four, perfect, three, Nice, two, last one, good. Little lifts, little lifts for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Whoa, I don't know about you, but that hurt. All right, let's do the other side. So set yourself up the same. If you're elevated, your spine is still neutral, right? You're not all C-shaped like this. If you're on your um, armpit, your ribs are still lifted off of the mat. Good. Knees bent 90, hips bent 90. Lift and lower. Good. Really go for a big lift. Big lift. Good. For 10, 9, 8. Nice job, guys. 7. Perfect. 6. 5 more. 4. Good. 3. Two, last one, pausing here, big circles. Good, let's do 10, good, nine, eight, seven, perfect, six, nice, five, four, three, two, last one, good, reverse, good, seven more. Perfect, six, nice, ribs lifted, five, beautiful, four, three, good, two, last one, good, stabilize your hips, kick your leg and bend, good, your leg is hovering so your outer hip is working to stabilize that joint for seven, good, six, five more, Perfect, tailbone extended behind you, okay? So try not to tuck your tailbone when you kick. Last one, good, lift and lower for 10. Nine, good, eight, seven, we got this guy, six, perfect, five, four more, three, two, last one, stay lifted, little pulses, 10, nine, eight, ribs lifted, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and relax. Boy, oh boy. All right, guys, we're gonna roll onto our back and do our teasers. So those of you who have been in class since the very beginning or have come uh, several times, you are probably a 
pro by now. So work on something to make it better, okay? So that's called layering. So find a layer to add, okay? So we're gonna do six teasers. Teasers, you start from kind of this corpse pose and you pop up into something that looks similar to a V. You could have your knees bent or flat on the floor, or maybe just one leg bent, okay? And then you roll yourself down. So it's a roll up and a leg lift. Good, with a little bit of time spent in the shape. I'm gonna try to roll up and down to my legs. That's my way of advancing this. Good, three more. Two. Good, this last one will hold. Ooh, that was sloppy, sorry. And hold it for five, for four, three, two, last one. And relax, perfect. Roll yourself over. How much time do we have? Perfect. Roll yourself over and let's reach your arms long, head down. Okay, so your head is buried in between your arms. You're gonna slowly lift your right arm up off of the ground and then your left leg and then switch. And start off really slowly, really feeling your back muscles, lifting your arm, good. But in the lower extremity, feeling your glute muscles lift your legs, okay? So you'll notice your back isn't lifting your legs. Great. Good, let's lift your legs and then lift your arms. Great, and now same slowness, left arm and right leg lift a little higher, and then opposite, then opposite, and opposite. Staying really mindful and slow for five, Good, four, belly in, three, two, last one. Good, keep your uh, legs lifted, reach your arms out to a T. Good, lift your legs a little higher, lift your arms a little higher, great. From here I want you to reach your arms back and lift your chest a little higher. Good, back to a T lower, lift a little higher with your arms coming back. Good, we wanna find this lift from your bra line. So squeeze and corset your bra line and lift a little higher. Try to straighten your legs for squeezing those quads. Good, three more. Nice. Two. Perfect, last one. Stay lifted, lift your legs a little higher. Stay lifted, good. Hold it for six, hold for five. For four, ribs in, belly button in, three, two, and relax. Nice. Oh, child pose. Good, and from a child pose, we're gonna um, tuck your toes under, and we're gonna go into a um, downward facing dog, okay? And then we're just gonna do um, a little pedaling of your um, feet. So my down dog is something I'm constantly trying to work on. I learned it wrong and I've done it. <laughs> I've done it probably wrong for 20 years. So it's really sloppy and I'm constantly trying to fix it. Um, so let's just not be hard on ourselves when we first good four. Good. Three, two, last one. Good. Shift your weight into a plank. Good. Three push ups and then we're going to bid adieu. Three. You can be on your knees. Two. Last one, great. Down dog, walk your hands to your feet, rag doll. Thanks so much guys for joining me. Um, as you might've heard, California is gonna open up their gym soon, so I might have some changes to my class, but nothing too fast and I'll give you guys ample warning, okay? All right, bye guys. Oh, I got seven, eight mess, you guys are chatty today. <laughs> thank you so oh, much. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mute you guys. Oh, thank you. Oh, I must have my um, volume really low. Thanks, Tracy, for regulating and helping. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye, Diana.